totally fine. We got Miguel here. We can make fun of him. This dog is too soft. Dude, Miguel, she, fucking, she's uh, a lion. Put your shitty phone on. Uh, right? Silence. Silence. Do you like it? I like it. Because I, I've, I've always been a cat guy because I always had cats. But the one thing I didn't like is like with certain people's dogs, like their hair would be too rough. Yeah. I'm used to cats because cats coarse their own hair. That's why like if I had to get a dog, three top dogs would have been like a yeah. lab, um, husky, or a German shepherd. Because I, I like the fluffiness in their fur. I like that. Uh, you, me, personally, I like... What what are you doing right now? We're recording. Sorry, you're just not Jesus <laughs> Christ! You can't bring this, this guy this here. The Stranger Things song. This guy. Jeez, now we're gonna go in. went by so quickly. It's from the last alarm. You know what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna get hit with the copyright thing. They do that now. Well, <laughs> if you upload a video, it runs through on YouTube, and they look at the audio. And then if your audio has something that is. It could be hit. You could be hit by copyright. Is that because we did that with like uh, uh with the ah, Hitler uh, song? Ah, yeah. Who played that? Club? You. No, I didn't. You told us to play it, and we played it. Play it. And then we went into. Uh, I had a copyright infringement uh, sent to me. A, co- wow. wait, a copyright infringement on a Hitler song? Yeah. The producers Hitler song. Producers so so Hitler so Hitler so song. some fucking Nazi called up YouTube and was like, "They're using my song." Peppa. No, I guess it's on a list that they probably have. Here's the problem. Who want to own that song? I don't know, but here's, makes the, no sense. here's the fucking the, problem with going Germans. on. Every fucking episode we do has to be Nazi in Germany. Can we stop? No. <laughs> Can we not do this anymore? I love that. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> this is just... Dude, this is getting too bad. You should have seen my grand when I found out about the Jewish tunnels. That made my fucking... That gave me a new lease on life. Yeah, it was so funny. It was so funny. I loved it every second of it. I looked that up. And the tunnels with them going through to uh, the was the synagogue. Yeah, they're building yeah. them to the synagogue because like they uh, I guess COVID kind of like they're not letting them practice because of course everyone's supposed to quarantine. Yeah. So they're like, all right, we're just gonna build our own damn tunnels and we're gonna do a secret little basement situation here. And then of course they're like, they get caught because this is very illegal. It's just to do their own engineering underneath like buildings yeah they found uh baby uh they found mattresses and uh oh, baby okay. stuff you heard about that one right yeah i found your new apartment miguel mm, sign me up <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gave me a new lease on my title okay I'll, I'll refrain you won't that whole you hear about the whole gina carano what's happening with her no so apparently she's now suing Disney for like when they fired her. So when they I heard go, about that. Yeah, but she's doing it so that she could get the, she could go back and work for them again. Which I was fine like whatever. That's I guess the what she wants. But it's weird when you read the comments of people or the, what they're talking about, like, oh, she said this, she said that, she's such a, a racist person, she's a Nazi. She oh like from first of all, the whole thing started when they wouldn't she didn't want to put her pronouns in her bio on Twitter. So she wrote beep boop bop. And then somehow that was transphobic. Well, but that could be pronouns. Beep yeah. Boop, bop. But she, but it, <laughs> it, it, it then when the whole COVID situation, beep, all she boop, was bop, basically bop. saying is like, she wasn't making a comparison to like, you know, what happened during World War II. She was making this like, the whole idea that your government is making you otherize your neighbor. Mm-hmm. Like, just because you've got differences, you shouldn't feel like you can't be friends or you can at least be cordial. Yeah. There's so much hatred. And somehow that's an evil thing. And it's funny because you watch all the people who are talking about, like, she's evil, she's this and that. And these are, like, liberal people. Yeah. Like, what happened to individualism and freedom of speech? Yeah. That shit went out the window. And it's funny to see these same people back when, at least when I was younger, you would be anti-government. These motherfuckers are pro-government. It's what yeah. she was saying was anti-government. Right, right, right. So how do you let these become... Oh, we love the all, government. All of a sudden, yeah. It's so, it, the dynamic is weird right now. It's just it's just like a play by play. It's like whatever whatever's hot, whatever is yeah. like can stir controversy, the the left will do the way. And then they'll like, oh government's great now. Never yeah, mind. This is what it's what the other ones don't like. <laughs> right. or, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or what they are for. So like if you just want them to be like like the whole that's that movie, um uh, what was it? The Sound of Freedom. The movie was about getting sex traffickers off the streets right. and saving kids. Somehow Leftists were getting mad about that. 
Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. They were like, "Oh, the movie is a sound conspir- of freedom. It's a conspiracy. It's what, a conspiracy." Was like, that the one with Jim? I forgot. He was in a Christ of. He was in Jim like, Cavill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Caviezel or something like that. Yeah, super Christian dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, he got super. He got very, very religious after the Passion of Christ. Passion of Christ. Yeah. So like any and every movie that he does now is I think he started his own production company that only yeah. does like religious like Christianity yeah. like movies. But Sound of Freedom, the things that were going on was when they were it was coming out in theaters, like there were parts where the the movie would just go off or the lights would be yeah. turned out. Oh right, right. Or, like, right, right. people would have to leave, evacuate, like the mm-hmm. fire alarm would go off. Mm-hmm. I remember that, and then um, it, because uh, Hollywood didn't want that shit to be distributed, basically, that was like the conspiracy. They're like, we want to like sabotage this movie yeah. in the box office because it has some kind of undertones with like also like with the, the industry, itself. the industry itself with yeah. pedophilia or whatever. Did you hear about the thing with Tom Hanks? No, no. my man, he didn't do it. That's it. Listen, they're liars. People are now saying. I saw something the other day where Tom Hanks. Someone said that Tom. Penny, what? Wow, that's loud. What do you want? Will right. brought his girlfriend here. Oh my, dude! Sh- I thought I told you to stay in the car. <laughs> so so p- apparently, people are saying Tom Hanks is a pedophile. Bullshit. That's what I thought. There's no way. He's he has a lovely family, Chad and. But maybe that's one. what. Maybe that's the cover. You His know, beard. Being a lovely oh, guy. Wait, why? Why are they saying? Because he's on Epstein's oh, that list. Yeah, the ice cream. 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 Yeah, I mean, everybody just, was on that. List. Everyone. Yeah, on but list. I think a lot of people that probably went to Epstein's Island probably didn't for vacation. Know. Yeah, yeah like, oh shit, there are miners here. And because I didn't yeah, I didn't know you had miners in the the basement. You yeah. know, like whatever the case may be. You know, you heard about those the two twins, the one with tattoos all over them. No, the the Island Boys. Oh, oh fuck those guys! They're they're, they're they're were, they were Epstein kids. They were definitely there. They were Epstein kids. They, they were they were there on that island. Of course they were. They, they they were like workers, sex workers. I don't know if they were sex workers. Fucking a. They make out of each other. For they make out. Fans. That's so gross. They're brothers, twins making out with each other. Their parents must be pro. Oh well, well that's what their happened. Their parents probably, probably sold them to the sex shop. That's them. Dude, these guys are so. I can't. I can't look at like, that. That's disturbing. Island boys. The face side too. I'm gonna never get over. I'm sorry. It's a. Dumbest thing in history. The broccoli hair. I know. Uh, for me, with tattoos, I'm very old school with it. Arms and calves. I don't like legs. I mean, backs are fine too. Chest, I think, is ridiculous. Stomach, I think, is stupid. Necks, I really think, is dumb. And anything on the face, I think, is dumb. Any place that's going to be visibly the most wrinkly spot in your body right. is the dumbest place to put a face. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know 30, 40, 50 years from now how it's going to look like. Yeah. I mean, when you your neck legs, is sagging. You know, right, like, you know. Your legs, I mean, also get sagging, but, you, but older people, I've seen guys in the 80s, they work out, their skin looks hey, too bad. Mm-hmm. But like, if you, when you're saying like your neck, that goes. You can't do anything mm-hmm. for your neck. No. Your face is going to wrinkle. You can't do anything for your face. surgery. But then if you get surgery, it's still going to deform your tattoo Just in a way, weird. maybe. But then... uh. But I, I, the good thing with the arms too is like you're, even if, you, if your arms get saggy, you get older, or whatever, like you can still wear a shirt. Like it's, it's a comfortable mm. spot. Yeah. But it, it's also pretty cool when you take off your shirt at the beach. Somebody's like, oh, I didn't know you had a tattoo. That's kind of cool. My tattoos suck though. I can't stand my tattoos. I'm, I'm just fucking penguin. Guy. Very hipster. Very hipster. Super hipster. It looks like um, it's a penguin body with a uh, Squidward's face. Yeah, hands the Squidward. nose, but the nose is. It's a what penis, is basically. that? It's... So what happened was I was uh, I, I lived in this apartment, my first apartment in New York in Bed Stuy, and it was like six people in one in one house, in one bathroom, and uh, but I was a unit PA, so I was just always like I was never home really. I get home from work one night and um, I'm like shit faced basically, and uh, I get in. And it's maybe like midnight. And I, we had this like whiteboard that had all of the different chores that people need to do. Like, mm-hmm. hey, can someone do this? Because we could just get 
messy with six people. And someone said, can someone please get uh, toilet paper next time we go out? And then had this little guy on the, and she was like an inspiring like tattoo artist. So she yeah. was like sick and poke and shit like that. So I'm like hammered. I knock on the door and I'm like, yeah, it's me. I want that tattooed on my body right now. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So she like starts doing a bit stick and poke. So it takes a while. And then she's like, okay, I, I gotta go to sleep. Like I'll, I'll finish it up tomorrow. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I wake up the next morning, like don't remember anything. And I'm like, why is my shoulder so goddamn sore? And I'm like, oh, can I see that? <laughs> so she had to finish so it the next day. I'm hung over. So and it sore. looks like the night before she probably did the body. And the face was like, kind of like a fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really thick though. For a She's good. Pole. And she was like super thorough. Like she had like all like the, the, the That's very sanity, thick for a second poke. Yeah. No, she killed it. But uh, my, my parents were fucking pissed. Can you see if there's a green light on that mic? I don't, oh yeah, there's a green light. Green light, green light. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I think your parents are probably pissed because they're like, damn, you didn't get a tattoo. Can you get anything better than that? <laughs> I yeah, mean, but he got it in a way where you can just be concealed. You had me right, dying. Your tattoo, that Jesus Christ with the, with the I fixed tits. it. I fixed it. What? I fixed Jesus Christ with the tits? Yeah. He went to the wrong guy. He went to a Satanist to get a cross. Wrong guy. He fucked him over with that one. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> like his pecs, yeah. it, it, it was like it had a curvature it's, to it. It had a curvature, like a, like a and cup. then like it had like. Like, what do you call the fat on your belly, but on the side? Yeah, the love, uh, love handles. Top. Love, love handles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like his obliques were in really tight. Yeah. yeah, the arms were, and then the hands wasn't hands. It was like kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was like dynamite. Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> dynamite. dynamite. <laughs> but, uh, no, I went. I, I went and redone it because I added yeah, more stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the other guy retraced it. And, like you know, he did it properly. The yeah. other guy was like, "I'm a Satanist." I'm gonna yeah, fuck yeah. yeah, which I. Didn't know. Did you know it was uh, a free tattoo though. That's what you get. So you got a free, free tattoo, tattoo from the Satanist. Yeah. Do you know that painting of George Washington where he's it's like he's just standing next to a big chair? Mm-hmm. So apparently the painter of that it was like his, it was like the first like presidential portrait. The the painter there did not like George Washington. Didn't like you know yeah he was just anti George Washington. So he painted him in a way that he made the chair just fucking huge. So it made George Washington look small. Really small. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And it was like this little the, fucking Napoleon type right. of thing. Right. And George George Washington, I think he was like six two. Or I think he's like yeah, he was tall. Guy. He yeah. Was, tall was he really? Yeah. yeah. He was very tall. Abraham Lincoln was the tallest. <laughs> he person, was also right? he was the tallest president. I believe. Yeah. 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 But yeah, Abraham, Washington was a tall guy. Yeah. yeah. Trump is up there. Trump is Trump, six three, right? Three. Three. It could have been a son? fucking. He could have been an athlete. He was an athlete, probably. No, he was not. Yeah. There's not an. They have a video of Trump. They gave him a football to throw through a circle. No, that kind of athlete. No. No, I'm just saying. It's like you know, but he like he had the ability to throw. Oh, yeah. Everybody was like, just shocked. Yeah. This is when he was younger, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When his he was son, young. his son's Baron. Mm-hmm. Baron's like six, seven. No, for some reason, like I, when I think of, I, I, I just think like when he was growing up, he probably was just so like involved in like luxury and like all that. Mm-hmm. And like six, I, I, seven. I can see him getting like six, sweaty. seven. That's crazy. Six, yeah. seven. Baron Trump is six, seven. Donald is six, three. Eric Trump, his oldest, is 6'5". Really? What? I didn't think he was that tall. Melina Trump is 5'11". I was just about to ask, how tall is she? All people. Yeah. All people. So, jeez. But yeah, no, I thought it it was so funny. Because you look at that painting, and you're like, it's it's not like in your face. Mm -hmm. But you're like, something's off about it. And then like, I was like, yeah, the the painter just didn't like their glasses. You know what's weird? Ivanka is 5'11". Look at that. You know what's funny because you're talking about all these like depictions of like political people and yeah. leaders? The Greeks. You ever heard of the story about like have you noticed how all the Greek statues have small penises? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was because back in those days they didn't have a small penis because it was seen to have it was seen to be on the un- Neanderthal. No, it was like unseen, like it was obscene to have a large cock. Really? So they made all so every time they did a sculpture of you, they gave you a small wiener. So you don't be like, because because those guys could have been packing. They could have been like down to the fucking kneecaps, but they were going to depict that. They're going to give you a small one because if you had a big one, it was like you being vulgar, like it's obscene. It's not in. It's almost hip. I was actually like, like, to have a small dick. 
I was just imagining like like a Greek dictator. Will's like, like, I'm hip. 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 Yeah, it's kind of lame to have a big dick. You hit that too big dick, yeah. you're, you're... <laughs> Because it's a little big community that yeah, yeah. went out. It's like, <laughs> I said big dicks are horrible. It's like Adam Pardon. Sandler from uh, uh, Billy Madison or whatever. He's just like, if your pants is cool, oh, call yeah. me Miles yeah. Davis. Like, you can imagine walking around with a fucking, what's that thing called? They used to wear that, that robe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, toga. Toga. You walk around with a toga and just like <laughs> no underwear. She just, she just like, what is that? Sir? What a great time <laughs> to be alive, man! Just being half naked all damn day. Probably was, great, the great was weather. Nice. Drinking wine. wine. Was the weather nice in Greece yeah. all year round? Yeah. All year round. Greece. I don't know the temperatures all year round, but it's yeah. it's probably much more nicer than it's not. Right. right. Sure. Yeah. I mean. And maybe that's just what we see, like, depicted. Like, I, I've i never seen a photo of, a of frozen, like, a frozen, a frozen green. Yeah. I'm sure, like, back in the day, of course, but, like, they have, like, you know, cold or mm-hmm. rain. But, but you would see it in the armors and what they wear. They pick, you know, like, in medieval, like, the Europe, Europeans, they wore thicker clothing because that's the climate. Mm-hmm. You don't see, like, whenever we go to the museum, I've never seen, like, a coat, a fur coat for, like, a, yeah, you know, right. a Greek guy. Yeah, it yeah. shows the lowest that they go. Basically, like forty-two degrees is the Look lowest. Whoa! Look at that. Is the lowest, and I that mean, that would be night temperature. But that's that's, that's you're looking in the month yeah. of February. Their highs would be fifty-five. Their lows would be forty-two. When you're looking at July, it's ninety-two Look average, at that. and you're low at seventy-four. They would probably walk around naked. I know. It's too hot to wear a fucking uh, toga. They're set. They're set. Socrates over there. Giving Plato his fucking lectures with his dick hanging out. <laughs> Fucked up, Plato. He fucked up. Watching dick swing. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Oedipus fucked his mom. <laughs> Ew. That's, right, is, that's what Oedipus called Oedipus, Oedipus, yeah. yeah. What's the one for the daughter? Is Oedipus uh, is for Electra, the daughter? Electra. Electra. Yeah. I don't know where that story comes from. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, know, know, that. Like, I don't know that. But Oedipus is fucked up. He fucked his mom. Because yeah, I guess he, like, went away he was sent away when he was young he came back and like took over whatever city and then became like a king mm. and then had to marry the queen the queen was his mom Ew. Ew. so uh, that was common in those days yeah. you bang your sisters yeah. your mommy in my in my head when we what's what your about... daddy liked so much <laughs> he wanted to know what made you oh this is what dad was like <laughs> we first lived in my own i can see why daddy wanted to stay here it's great Bruh. wow that's the dark humor. That's the one. Uh, so anyway, back to Jews. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is. Ooh. Um, so I was I was thinking about the the you know the temperature, right? And I was like, oh, if the temperature's like that. Then, what makes the the you know what's the life expectancy? But then I started looking up around the world. You know what the life expectancy by country? I think Japan's the highest. No. Really? Nope. Is it Greece? Norway? Nope. Norway? Is it the United States? Of Hong Kong. Oh, China. Life expectancy, yeah, yeah. 85 years old. Right? For an average female, 88. For males, 83. Of course. And then Macau. What the fuck is a Macau? I don't know what Macau is. That's why I was just wondering. Yes, you do. Well, it's kind of wild because, like, the, isn't the pollution in China, like, absolutely horrific? And then... Cigarette smoking in China is terrible. And- yeah, but no, they, they give that as a population control. They give cigarettes out free. <laughs> Factory workers, yeah. they're like, lunchtime, they're throwing packs of cigarettes. It's it's a population control. But they also probably don't have the same shit we're eating. They don't Macau the is yeah. in China. China. China's killing it. China. Jeez. I just found out that China, I think they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't censor their porn. They, they don't what? censor? So they censor it here in America? No, that's only Japan. Japan is it, illegal to show you. You can't show genitalia. So what the fuck is wrong with the Japanese? If the Chinese understood that it's, it's sex. Right? Well, I think the Japanese do it different because the Japanese they go out and they have sex. That's why they have those little. Uh, or is it China? They have those sex hotels. We just go in and it's like it's mm. okay. We, I think we talked about. We one. spoke about this. Yeah, Remember you said. You know, I was in China. I don't know if the. I know. So with Japan, they have a hookup culture and they also have. Um, post- prostitution, but I think it's illegal, but they don't enforce it because of the hookup culture they have mm. in Japan. 
Like they was they were talking to girls and say, like, hey, you well, know, fucking love is different. Number three for life expectancy, Japan. Yeah. Which the life expectancy is eighty four, so it's I one year sushi. difference of China. I want some. Yeah, I'm gonna get some sushi tonight. Switzerland number four. Yeah, the slice, the slice. With eighty four as well. With the chocolate. Singapore. Number five. Sweet. Italy number six. Where do you think we at? Number okay. one in death. Yeah. <laughs> South Korea, number seven. Uh-oh. Spain, Uh-oh. number eight. Malta, you number you nine. You say North Korea. No. I know, right? North Korea is on a, a decline. Well, they probably also don't have they any actual, actual information. They're not having sex out of North Korea. They don't probably want to and have a kid in that society. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't even feed people. What's the point of... If they can't feed you, oh, you don't want to fucking have a kid. If, if yeah. there's a fire in your house in North Korea, right? If there's a fire and you're running out to save your life, your family's life, you know what this, what's the first thing you're supposed to do? You're, everybody in their house is supposed to have a picture of the dictator. Oh, yeah, and so you can take care of and it. And you're supposed yeah. to take it with you. Or you'll get in trouble if you don't take that photo and you just escape your house. We got to from that death. fucking country. No, so, we can't. So, yeah. number 10, Australia. With 83. All the fucking animals running around there. <laughs> like, the you, spiders? You, like, walk out your house and King Who's ready to kick your fucking chest in. Don't you talk about spiders? It's a spider. <laughs> no, first of all, no, it's a, there's a lot of spiders, but the spider people keep flipping out about is the Goliath spider. Yeah. They're bird eaters. They don't, they're, they're harmless to humans. They have no venom. They just, they kill just by penetrating their fucking birds and their neck or whatever and kill them. What's there's the, no venom. What's the spider? I remember you talked about Yeah, the Goliath it, 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 bird no, no, eater. there's a spider that it, it's the one it, that flies, right? You know, in like, the Middle East, it yells. Oh, you talking oh. about the, the, um, the camel spider. Yeah. It has sensitive skin to sunlight. It shrieks. Yeah. At you. Huge. It's like, it's insane. Um, Wait, okay. So let's do this, right? We went through the top 10. Let's see where the U.S. is. Well, we're number one. Military. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm going down. I'm going down. We're going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Look, 400 I, miles away. You got to chase up America. America. The U.S. Guess what number we are? 30. Life expectancy. Two. Nope. Higher? 100. Lower. 100. 28. We are 47. Oh, that's not true. Oh, oh, oh. 47. Puerto, wait. Puerto Rico is 44. What? Isn't that part of the U.S.? Mm-hmm. Well, they're a commonwealth, but yeah. Yeah. Fuck your so. country. So what I said. No, he's Guatemalan. He's Puerto Rican and Guatemalan. No, when he's Guatemalan. When's your, when's your, when's your, it's like a big beat or a week. He has the look of a Puerto Rican, yeah. but the, uh, the body of like Guatemalan. Like oh, <laughs> <laughs> my, my neighborhood is like all like Puerto Rican for some reason. Well, and so Rican, like there's one week Hispanic. where they just go off. And it's it's fun, but like you just hear like reggaeton like on across the street and the fireworks goes off like randomly. It's kind of nice. Dominicans is a new favorite. Fuck Puerto Rican. Do you want to... Is it... <laughs> it's side eye. Is it... Wait, is it a... <coughs> there's like a big, like, fight between Dominican Republicans and... Haitians. No. Yeah. No, but that's what, that's in Haiti in them, but... Well, they don't... It's, Puerto Ricans don't like... It's a... It's a, like, a... a you know, who's better, but right, it's not right, a fight. Because they speak no, Spanish. Okay. Who speaks Spanish faster? <laughs> that's what it is. They think Dominicans speak too fast, and Mexicans say they speak... They both speak too fucking fast. Yeah, but... but Puerto Ricans are like Spanglish. Yeah. Like a New York Rican, mm-hmm. it's like you can understand when they talk Spanish and English. It's like it just works. Yeah. You don't even need yeah. to know Spanish. You just understand a Puerto Rican from New York. Isn't there a word for like. They women are baddest. I don't care what nobody says. Mm-hmm. Isn't there a word for like a Puerto Rican girl or something like that? I don't know what it is. They actually looked it up. They said it was a. Uh, they got everything. They got what's that? Talino. Something like that. They got oh, Europeano. Yeah, yeah, they have everything. We got two conversations going on at once. We talk about Puerto Ricans. Really? <laughs> no, they have like. I love how he's like. So about Puerto Ricans. Like they were talking about like. <laughs> Only the camera can see Mark like Puerto Ricans. Like, 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 it's, it's like so much genetically like they have uh, nearly the perfect DNA. They have everything: black, Talino, um, European. That's what gives them uh, a very distinct look. Yeah, as the, the, far as their features go. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're they're, they're, they're they're features. They're, they're mutts. That features too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mutts. <laughs> yeah, but mutts dog, mutts, the mutts the, as far as dogs go, 
They're the, probably the most healthiest dog you're ever gonna find. Yes, exactly. They have no abnormalities. They don't have to worry about like like the way that certain dogs like hip displacements. Those like dogs a German usually, Shepherd. Yeah, those yeah. dogs are usually the best. Like, yeah. 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 You ever hip, seen the picture of a uh, yeah. a German Shepherd original German Shepherd? How it looks yeah. compared to now? German Shepherds. If you look at their hind legs, their hind legs is like it goes forward yeah. and then their knee and then it goes back. So when they get older, you start to see where their ass is more towards the ground, and yep. they're like literally. Oh. Mm-hmm. It becomes like like it's the really the the wiener the Dachshunds the wiener dogs. Mm-hmm. They're so long, they have back problems at the end. Like their spine can't hold up; it starts to become like a little U. Their belly rubs the ground. So it's it's from how did evolution allow that? It's not it's evolution. Evolution. It's it's breeding. It's people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Breeding. Human beings. And they have like so in Japan, one of the, uh, uh, you know how you have like toy poodles here or like certain dogs. Mm. So in Japan with the cat, they have a thing called a munchkin cat. This thing has They're arms. Cute, I feel bad for that family. I know. That thing is, that, cute, that thing is built to get killed. Like it's lucky it lives in a house. Mm. If it's out in the street, it's done in a week. Less than a week, an hour. Because his arms are so small. Like if you see do- like cats, cats have very flexible shoulders and, and paws. They can actually grab their prey and hug it. That cat can't do that. There's balls. That's a German Shepherd. There's balls. Thanks, Will. <laughs> First thing I, I, I like to point out the class. I, I, I like to point out to the class. Those are testicles, and then that's all we need to know. But that's a, that's <laughs> original <laughs> German Shepherd. Yeah, it don't look like you that. see the, the legs like now. Looks like a like a, a lobo. All right now, hold on. Let's see. Here. I want I want to dive more into this website. They so loyal too. German Shepherds. They're very loyal dogs. Yeah. So um, now look at look at like look for original German Shepherd. Beautiful. The Schnauzer. The Schnauzer. Look at their legs now. Oh, I see. see yeah, see yeah, that? yeah. Uh, it's sad. Great dogs, but I mean, just ruined them to the point where it's like, look at that. Hey, hey. you know, you know the amount of weight that's being put on that that part of the body. I love pit bulls though. Pit bulls are my dogs. Um, that's my dog. Can't pet that dog. Can't pet that dog. I can't go sleep. Can't pet that dog. What the fuck is? I love that video. What is it? Not going away. No, it's like stuck here. There you go. Um, you you show me that video, uh, the subway shooting. Oh my god! No. That was terrifying. That was That's crazy. Nuts. It was like it happened yesterday. Like, that was, was like, two days ago. Yeah. He got shot with his own fucking gun. He, they tussled for the gun. Where is they tussled? Yeah. The guy rusted out his hand and, and shot, him, shot him, in him in the head. So, so apparently, he well, he's apparently, not dead yet. Well, no, he's not dead. no, no. He's so this is what happened. The guy did a. What are the police looking for now? Well, well when you go in the train station, who's oh, evading the? the uh, oh. Who's not paying, right? Right, right? So apparently, he walks through the emergency exit, not paying the f- fare. So the NYPD's like, see, we told y'all. We told you no one believes us mm-hmm. that criminals don't pay the fare. So he walks in, goes into the train. That guy who so the argument was he was arguing with that lady that was sitting there. That lady and the guy that was, they said, defended himself are he's the grandmother of that that guy's kids. Like kind of like his mother in law, but it was said as a grandmother. No way. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the, what started the whole thing was was with that lady and the guy that had the gun. And he was yelling kind of like racist stuff for, to her where he's like, I love my blacks and all the stuff to her, mm-hmm. thinking she's Spanish and all the stuff. So what happened is the other guy stood up for her mm-hmm. and now they were like, all right, let's shoot the fair. They're gonna fight. Yeah, they started, right? they started like they started fucking squaring up. That guy's he's a rat, right? February he was arrested because he was selling. He works at one of those weed, uh, one of those smoke shops. Right, right, right. Got arrested for you know selling all kinds of stuff. So he has a zone little record himself about this. Yeah. But when they got into the little tussle, the lady came out. 
stab the guy in the back. <laughs> what I counted looked like at least like five times. Really? I couldn't see anything. I saw it maybe once. There's a full video on. I saw the video. I watched all the video. Full. I saw the video, but I, I saw I when she was going like this. I didn't notice And that. that's when he got up and he felt his back. And yeah. he was like, You stabbed what me. What the fuck? Yeah. You stabbed me. Yeah. Yeah. And then blood, yeah. she was bleeding? I didn't he was bleeding. He was bleeding. So that she penetrated him. Yeah. Yeah. Skin. yeah. yeah. Three well, no, no, yeah, but you don't that's see the blood. You don't, you don't, no, you don't see the blood from that. You see the blood from the shooting. The, the, no, he's like wearing black, black jacket. It had, no, but it was, it was, he had like a white like shirt underneath, and he saw like some. Oh, okay, you see the blood from there. So then the tussle happened. He went. He was going in through his thing, trying to get. Like, you stab me! I'm gonna shoot you! Yeah. And I guess they had the thing, but the person who was recording once that once that happened, she she, she ran. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care who you are, unless you're a journalist, you're like, you know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hear the gunshots, he got shot in the eye, Ooh. and got shot in the neck. And he's still alive? Damn. Still alive. Damn. And the guy that shot him, there's, see, the media is throwing this all around, because the media's like, he's not going to get, you know, um, they're not going to send him to jail. Mm. He's not in trouble. And then there's people where, where they're like, maybe he will now. And they're still looking for you the guys have, You guys have his record? Um, I mean, it's self-defense. I mean, he took the gun out from the well, stand. Well, not in New York City. Yeah. We aim for the head. That's like execution. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And and if you pull the trigger more than once. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Like, right, right, you can't yeah. even empty a magazine on a motherfucker who break into your house in New York. You can't. You got to shoot for the legs. Mm-hmm. Well, the arms. Well, you get even if you hit certain mass, you can't just like like I mean, so you got like uh, nine million Beretta. That's like sixteen, like fifteen in the mag, one in the pipe. If you shoot, if I shoot the intruder, it's like that's it. He's down. I can't right. go boom them. Blah, 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 right, blah, right, right. But, but then again, what? who shoots when you and someone like if you're a nervous person, you're a nervous you're wreck. You're, 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 yeah, you're, exactly. you're just hitting. Yeah, that guy was ten times smaller. Yeah, guy, so he's shooting up. So. Yeah, you know I asked you to be a part of this podcast. I'm sorry. And you want to talk. No, talk. It's fine. But you could be on camera talking. Yeah, no, we're not pretty like you guys. I'm you're too pretty. I'm staying in the back. Not pretty we're, not, we're not too pretty for that. We're not behind. If only you, you see... Got face, we got faces for ready. If you see the person... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got faces for ready. Nah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Miguel looks like a cancer patient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I gotta stay behind here. It's third <laughs> round. It's third round of chemo. That's why we. <laughs> Keep beating cancer. <laughs> Keep beating it. You should be a Ricky Snicky. Yeah, right. Ricky Snicky. I what? can't. I like that movie. It was funny. It was John great. John sold the show. Movie. He sold. Well, that's he why. Sold that's why they. You know, they cast him. You know, they cast him. Like, it was really good, and now people are all about the whole conspiracy theory. Oh, uh, about him being naked. Scene. Well, about him. Oh, he wasn't naked. naked. He wasn't naked. He had like a thong on. No, him. yeah, it was he a weird the, little yeah. Set but of now people are yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's one of those. You know, what, what do you call that stuff? Uh, uh, initiation. Like, in the, oh, uh, everything so does not yeah. have to be. A he also is. He's also like almost fifty, and he's already famous. He's already. You know how I look at. You know how I look at exactly with all the conspiracy thing when they talk about you got to wear a dress, wear what is this is how I feel about it. I look at it the same way as any other job, where it's like, this guy is willing to like work overtime for me, or he can take those worst shifts. Like he's open to do anything they want him to do. Yeah, he, and he's funny because he, 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 he can just say no. He's also he's six, he can say no. Huge, so it's not gonna be and that's why they're gonna. Yeah. That's why they keep giving him work. It's like you know because he's willing to freaking go with that extra mile to get a laugh. Yeah, that's all the reason why he's getting. The he's, job. Just a, he's just a naturally great, no talented, shit. Yeah. funny entertainer. Yeah, like and people are John Cena six one. Wow. Oh, 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 sue me six two six one. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Things like you, <laughs> just you made Zach Efron look like a twink in that shit. Zach, twink. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna talk about Zach. Efron. Fucking tweets. Mm-hmm. Zach, he got he got huge because of the Von Eric movie, that yeah. day, right? You've seen Zach Efron's face. It's bloated. It's insane. Did he get an injury? Good. Good. They say that, but I they think it's say just it's an out. injury. What? So they say it's an injury. That that's why he had the reconstructive surgery mm-hmm. on it. But there's also theories on he didn't hurt his jaw for it to be that way. Because what happened was when you look at photos of Zach Efron in his teenage years, early 20s, mm-hmm. throughout his 20s, 
Zac Efron naturally has a boyish look. What killed him it. was when going to have other movies, he wasn't being casted in movies that he wanted to be in. Mm-hmm. He was always being casted as the the boy, the mm-hmm. young guy, the you know, with the you know, to mm-hmm. play this he, certain. He was point. thirty years old when he was in uh, Neighbors. He but, played like a twenty one year old. Yeah, but then he was like, I. He was good in that though. But he was like, I'm a fucking man. Like I want to like I have man roles, and so they're saying that's why he did it. I don't know what the true story is, but they're saying that is probably. It makes him look worse though. You know? I mean, maybe, maybe it'll, it'll like kind of you know naturally go away or some kind of thing. Never gonna was it Botox or is he just got like actual like bro, jaw I injection? Like, yeah, I think it's like reconstructed surgery. Whatever. No, no, I mean, I, I, do. Hey, I, it's fine. If women can do it, it, why can't a guy do it? If he has the money for it, I'm saying that's gonna be painful. It, if he's happy, okay. you know, my, his has bear in it. I don't want to share. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. do. The, I don't do the backlash. Yeah. You guys, you so you watched the Oscars though, right? I did watch. I right, saw. So yeah. Remember that movie, the the holdovers. Yeah. 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 Did you hear about there's a, a, a plagiarism Ooh. scandal on no that way. fucking script? The script? They did yeah. it side by side. They did line by line by yes. line yeah, by yeah. scene everything. And it's it was like, like it's, it's, it's like it's, it's, it could have been it could have been, been like this yeah. scene forty five yeah. on holdover and scene forty six on this one was yeah. like, a swap. Oh, oh, no. oh my well, god. What was the other movie? <laughs> it was basically the same thing. Some guy wrote, like, I think Except he was on was Blacklist. The hospital. Yeah, I think he was on oh, Black the Blacklist. Again. I think that's where they got the script. Like, he was, he, yeah. it made some good marks there. Yeah. But he's not probably a known guy to, you know, as a writer. Yeah. Exactly. So you got a better studio. You got a, you know, go to Google behind Paul you. Paul Giamatti. You know, Paul it was, Giamatti. It was like, you know, when I, when I, it was like maybe two or three scripts that I wrote. And then I look at it, I'm like, oh. I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. But it's like I wrote it a couple years ago. That's how it but works, like, though, bro. What the fuck? I mean, honestly, the it thing makes is, you know that you're on track. That's, that's no, that's the beautiful you part. You're, on, you're track. on track. But I've heard something that really this guy who sold the script once. Okay, easy that for me. I did. And he said that one of the most discouraging things most writers don't understand is that you can't copyright an idea. Like they could take it. He says ideas get stolen here and there. Sure, whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you come up with an idea and then you put it in your script and your execution sucks on it, that studio could just, in theory, say, you know what? We like the idea. We don't like the execution. We'll get a better writer to write it for us. There's a difference when you take an entire fucking script and go line by line and go. I just want to swap this line. Well, I, I this always scene, think that a, is fucking stealing yeah. straight up. I always yeah. think it's a. Uh... A what if the whole movie? It is a fucking excellent film. I love that movie. I still gotta watch it. It's I gotta watch it. the only well two things movie. that I haven't watched. Oh, well, plagiarized movie. <laughs> oh, it, it's kind of discouraging to hear that. Like that's sad. No, what's the other one? Saltburn. Saltburn. I gotta watch that one. I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it twice. I love it. Really? Is that good? First time I watched it on stream. Second time I watched it. It's sober. It's three hours. Three hours. But it's six six hours of your life. Are these see poor things? I heard it. That's the next one I got. All right, all right. I just want to give you a quick little thing on the poor things. I've been watching. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Poor things. I keep hearing Emma Stone. Poor things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see poor things. I see a lot of poor things. (laughs) That's the one that Emma Stone. She won the Oscar. The second one. Yeah. So, from what I understand, her character is the mother that has this baby inside of her. Something about abortion or the baby dies. Mm-hmm. And they take the baby's brain, brain and put it into the mother and they reanimated her. Right. And then she wakes up and starts having a bunch of sex with different other people when she finds out that all oh, the orgasms and that shit. It's just very weird that you took a twelve like a two year old brain, put it into a woman's full body, right. and the first thing she wants to do is fuck. Right. It's, it, 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 it's, and it's weird. Like, it's like a med- thing. Yeah, and yeah. It's, exactly. The, and the defenders of this say, Oh, it's like a It's beautiful, it's art. It's art, it's feminism, like no, I don't I would lean more towards Barbie, more being more feminist. Right, this right, is right. weird. Yeah. It's a little kid type of thing. Yeah. And, and then it's like Mark Ruffalo is trying to yeah. fuck her. And then everyone fucks other, her. Everyone fucks. It's like, dude, oh, it's Mark so Ruffalo. Love the guy. But, but I want to watch it just to see what they're talking about. Just to see for right, myself. Right, right. I'm talking just about brain it. stuff. Did you see the AI? I love AI. The, no, the AI robot. The humanoid robot. It's a future. The future. Yeah. You want to see this one? It makes such sense to me. Did it stutter? Oh yeah. Detroit became human. 
As this motherfucker now watch me show us the in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Her <laughs> thing. Great. This is the can worst you explain ever. why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. It sounds like really caught up. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack. Next. Great. Can you put them there? No. Is it an actual robot or is it like a... Yeah. Okay. Alright, so how do you think you this did? Is creepy. I think I did pretty well. The apple found the stutter. The yeah. trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. This is creepy. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. You have a... You're Will welcome. Smith shows up, fucking shoots it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, you bought her. You know, the Plato Republic giving her that thing about the shadows, the shadow yeah, puppets on the, the cave. Yeah, uh, allegory of the cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the machine. You know that. That's, that's, that's the matrix. When, when, that's when, the fucking when, matrix. When they realize. That uh, you know, am I? When they start questioning, like, am I sent to life? Wait, stop! Let's cut it off. Why? Why was like, Will? You probably know this one, and I'm like, why? Why would it? <laughs> I, I know, don't you know, know, you know, know Siri, go. Because you're brown, I guessed it. No, but he, cause I could tell Will you read a lot of stuff like that. I guess because your parent, you know, your father was a teacher. Teacher. So I was just guessing. Well, Allegory Cave is great because it's like. Do you know about the allegory of the cave? No, I do not. So it's just, uh, it's not a conspiracy. It's how, a, do you, how do you say that? Allegory of the cave. Yeah, so yeah. A-L-L-E-G-O-R-Y mm -hmm. of the cave. But so basically it's like Plato had this uh, teaching or philosophy that what if we're a bunch of, if we're a society um, where we're underneath the cave mm -hmm. and behind us is a wall. And behind that wall are a bunch of people, people yeah. with like these sticks that cast a shadow. And that's all we see. But above the cave, of course, is the actual world. So he's just saying, what if we are the people in the cave? Like, what is this like There's beyond? something more beyond. Yeah. And that's, and that's one thing with AI can start getting to that point. Like, if yeah. they start wondering you if think I'm, AI would discover that. Well, because if he's, if, if, if you understand what the definition of what being alive is, is to exist. To be sentient means you have thoughts. So what happens if the machine starts confusing? It's just what it's been programmed to be as a thought. Then he might think I'm alive, because even though I'm, you're telling me what to do, start are, creating yeah, theories. Like, and I'm quite sure theories, he's right. a father, you're a father. You tell your daughters what to do. Yeah, grab this, pick up that. What's the difference between that machine being told what to do and picking up everything? He's going to probably process it in mind. Am I alive? Is this because I'm thinking? I know what to do when you tell me. Because he asked the question, where do you think he did this right? Where mm -hmm. do you think this will go? They obviously knew the answer. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if he discern between being. It is my thought or being programmed. You have to hear them say it's why. Yeah, mm. that's yeah. Right. exactly why, why it's, it's over. over. It's over. Yeah. yeah. And kids ask and why all the fucking wondering. time. How many times your daughter asks you why? How many times the daddy probably asks you why? Why you know, this? Why you that? Know what? It's funny that you're bringing this conversation up because I wanted to say this when we're talking about screenplays. A lot of ideas, right? Like when I would watch a movie, mm -hmm. you know, you watch a movie, right? And you go, let's just say 17 minutes and 32 seconds. And then it gets to the pinnacle point, like a point of that storyline where it arches because it has to go this way now. But watching it in your head, you're like, what if he didn't do that? What if it went this way? Now you can write a whole new story about it. AI could do that too. What ifs? Yeah. Whys and what ifs yeah. are the big things. Yeah. And that's what I'm curious. That's what y'all wonder. Are we seeing like what Terminator, you know, the whole rise of machines? 
Is that even possible? It's quite possible. I think my biggest fear is uh, is something like a Matrix situation. Oh my but God. then I rewatched Matrix recently, and I was thinking to myself, I kind of side now with uh, uh, Rob Pimpleon's character. Remember, he was like, um, he made a deal with Agent Smith, and he was like, mm -hmm. put me back in the Matrix, and I just want to have season tickets to the Yankees and a steak dinner every night. I saw that, yeah. And then, so I was watching that, and I was like, yeah, I think I made that deal. <laughs> yeah, but the question the things we already making that deal right now exactly like we have i think it's seven special forces units that are like these guys think of it like the way that michael jordan could throw, you know seth curry could shoot a three-pointer mm -hmm. these guys are training killers the same way as for fishing basketball players and wrestlers and boxers and kickboxers they're fine -tuned these crap. guys are fine-tuned yeah, yeah and they're around the clock doing shit around the world to keep us safe we know the cows getting slaughtered in the back we don't want to see the cows are slaughtered, but the bacon and I'm mean, not the bacon, but the beef still on our fucking plate. We just eat it. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of shit that if we were in the Matrix, baby. This shit is going on uh, to give us all the freedoms we have. Shit is already happening. We just run a blind eye to it, like all right, whatever. <laughs> but you know, right now, some kid like while we have somebody in fucking in the a third world country is losing out because we got so much. Like our phones, we get what's that thing called again? Um, we got lithium and what's the other one? Damn it. Uh, it's what they they mine for it in the Congo right now. Let's look at the name of it too. Lithium? Um, no. no, lithium. They got lithium and there's a there's cobalt. Cobalt. Oh, Kids in the fucking Congo are you digging mean that shit up. There's a Ethan Hunt running around. Yes. Just night and day, and we don't even know. No, it's of course somebody's making our world work. Somebody's digging the oil. Somebody is like yeah. keeping you safe. Yeah. But that's the matrix we're living but in. But it's like all, all the people, it's like, oh yeah, we should go electric. But what do you think is really digging up this stuff? You, it, it's human hands yeah. and it's gas vehicles. It's, exactly. Exactly. You gas need petrol oil to make this shit. Like, what do you think caterpillars run on? You know? Like, yeah. Not electric. No. 100%. I was thinking, we have all these things around us that keep us in this matrix. Keep because us happy. Because everyone and a lot of people only, are sacrificing and dying for us to have it. But all, yeah. everyone around here only wants to see what they want to see, but they don't want to see what really goes on yeah. to really do everything. Like I said, you, you don't care about how the cow gets here. You're just happy you get the hamburger. Correct. You don't want to see the cow getting that. You don't... I, I had this you don't want head. to see the cow being born, being raised by a loving mother, yeah, no. being nurtured, and then, and then <laughs> slaughtered when it gets old. Like, yeah. I, I, I had this thing in my head like, you know the word child? Like, child, like yeah. it means like good, goodbye, mm -hmm. hello, whatever. That's like the word for the cow, moo. Oh. Moo is hello, goodbye, and I don't want to die. And they all say that when they're going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one word. That scene, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, that scene from the point down. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that hit me so hard just now. That hit me hard. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark, but it's a fact. We yeah. don't face that. We don't think about that shit. Yeah. Uh, you know that scene from the point dynamite when the, the bus comes up and they see the farmer and they take to the kid yeah. and just yeah. shoots the cow right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's another thing, like, where in the rural states, they don't deal with that shit. Like, yeah. farming kids, they already know. They already know. Uh, they, they, they get their chicken, yeah. Their chicken's on the go. Their cow's on the go. Yeah, survive so, somehow. Yeah. They, don't, they already know the facts. Yeah. The rest of us are in the matrix. Well, New York, for sure. I mean, New York is also like the, the centerfold of, of entertainment, you know, tourism, all that stuff. by entertainment. It's, so Netflix has a budget that they normally have of $15.9 million. Really? $15.9 million of making whatever product that they need, right? You know how much of that money gets spent in the U.S. Hmm. and how much of it gets spent outside of the U.S. Sixty-five percent of that money is spent outside of the U.S. Mm -hmm. and the rest in the U.S. That is showing you that Netflix rather deal with having shows being filmed and produced in other countries because now we're it's cheaper, but we're also taking a turn within the U.S. that. A lot of people in the U.S. aren't watching U.S. products. So you look at the Squid Games. You look at so stuff that are being filmed in England. You know, it's a different concept. Mm -hmm. it's, a di it's a different storyline mm -hmm. that we all are taking interest of. But here's the number one thing, too, that deals with this. We're taking interest of it 
because when you look at all of the U.S. based stuff, I, I, we had yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the U.S. based stuff is being pushed in your face, right? Like, Wait, LGBT. it, LGBTQ, you know, uh, color washed, white washed. You know, it has to be a certain way to appease the people here. But when you go to Japan, you go to England, you go to all these other countries, Australia, where they're filming their stuff, they're not doing that. They're sticking to the script. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's, it's a compelling, compelling storytelling story too. But yeah. everybody wants to see that. Yeah. But when you come to America, you just see it has to be a certain. Yeah, but, thing. but that's why I don't like what we're doing here. Like what they did with the Star Wars or was it Rogue One? Where the guy, I love Rogue One. Guy, right, so the guy, what's his name? Jason Boyega, whatever. Oh, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, Boyega. yeah, John Boyega. John, John Boyega. Boyega. He's a good actor. Great actor. I love him. But in American culture, he's big and he's prominent. He's there. And then you go to Chinese, he's, in, he's a little speck. And also, he's not even important in the movie. No. He's no. like... But, but, but not that's, necessary. That's a secondary character. Everyone thought he was going to be a Jedi. It didn't happen. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. At the end of the day, Hollywood is there checking boxes just to shut fucking people up. Mm-hmm. They yeah. don't care about diversity. And he dates like an Asian girl. Care. They don't care about that shit. Thing. They nope. don't care. No, but that, that was... And I'm uh, glad they don't care. Honestly, I don't care about diversity. Was, I'm one of those guys, like, I don't need to see myself in a fucking movie to be like, oh, I sympathize with the fucking character. I watched Juno, and I was like, man, I feel bad for Ellen Page. Man, Elliot. I was like, Elliot. how dare you? I'm, talk- I'm, talking to- I'm talking about her in my mind. Elliot Page. Of the 2000 women, <laughs> seven, eight, where that movie came out. That's me. my Elliot Page. Elliot Page, right on the credits. I'm going with the original credit. What is Elliot Page doing now? I think he's much. doing uh, it. I think Umbrella, he's Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. Yes. Umbrella great show. Academy. Great, great show. Yeah. Uh, I'm really interested to see what they do this fourth season because the last season, the, the, it was a mind fuck, that last episode. It's on Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you, 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 know, you know what I was thinking? So, uh, when Elliot Page was Ellen Page mm-hmm. in X Men, she played the character Shadow Fox or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Kit. Her name was Kit. 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 Was so she could like, go through walls. Mm-hmm. And then she, I think she was like fucking like, the Iceman. So, like, I'm, of course, my fucked up head was thinking, like, how do you fuck something that you can't go through it? <laughs> like, you just, how do you, you know? She, she, her mutant ability, she can go through walls. Walls, yeah. So, like, how do you... I think it goes back to the theoretical version of, you know, um, people in the 90s, early 2000s, when you didn't have the... Where you had phonogenic memory mm. of getting off. <laughs> where does where that tie into the, the accident thing? Because he's invisible. Maybe she just did it through her head and she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, think about it. If you're a little boy back in the 90s, you, you, you couldn't be jerking off in front of the TV. Because the, you had probably one TV in your house. Or you're not brave enough. You have one TV in your house. <laughs> and so what you did is, you know, as a little boy, maybe jerking off, you had photogenic memories of, like, things that you saw. And you're like, you know, you close your eyes, <laughs> go to work. And it just worked. When I was a kid, my father, he had this one porno tape that he had in his closet. And I used to find it. I found it because he was asleep. You know, they go to sleep and I'm up early. You know, they got to work. You know, and people, they go whatever. to sleep. <laughs> and, I'm kid, and I'm just, you know, I don't know why I'm up. But I remember he had, it was called Adam and Eve. That was the name of the production company. So whenever I used to pop it in, I had to remember the scene that was on last. So oh, that, you know, my God. And I'm just Smart man. <laughs> I would never have thought of that. I would just let it. Okay. It, was like a, it was like a blockbuster day, like, you know, be kind and rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That would be exactly what I remember. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and all of a sudden he comes home, he's like, wait, that was Mitch broke. Why was he in? <laughs> that was just that, yeah. Uh, so I was watching, he was busting the nut. What is going on? Why are they dressing? Why are they kissing? I never watched the kissing part. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I was back on the time. I don't know the porn. I didn't need it still going on, on, right? Yeah, they, yeah. But it's like, porn at least when I was a kid, you had, it's like, you had to look for it. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you felt like, it was a hunt. like if you was walking through the street and you saw like a, like a butt cheek or like a torn magazine, like, oh, butt cheek, you'll pick it up. 
It's like a half a oh, cheek. So they just you, tore it out of a page. You like, remember the bodegas you know. back then? So yeah. Some of them used to have the magazines in the back. Yeah. They used to have the things covered. Oh, yeah. So I remember in uh, middle school, we used to get out of school mm -hmm. and then walking home, you know, we would all walk by the bodega, go in the bodega, get, get your chips and whatever. Your 25 cent waters and juices and stuff like that. And then we used to go into the back just to see the magazines. And it's like we used to pull the thing and the guy used to come in and run. Hey, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> All your all your pantsers like already halfway down. You're like going out. Oh, no, never happened. <laughs> you ever seen? Um, you probably don't see. I don't know the movie Hanging with the Homeboys. You ever seen that movie? Hanging. Oh, it sounds so familiar. If you bro. get a chance, watch it. Like, it's, why, it's why one why of. I even feel like Mark Curry was a part of it. No, no, I was hanging with Mr. Cooper. No. But it was. This was like Johnny Legazamo's one of his. If not, I think his first film. And what? he was ever in Johnny Leguizamo. It was a such a great movie. That movie was so good. But it's a it's an iconic scene when they go to a peep show. And they only have like a quarter, and they all pile into this one peep show, and they get in the booth together. Oh, that one. <laughs> yes, hey, I remember boys. that one. Such a good movie, man. Yeah, that was a good one. I remember Watch that people. one. That's a good one. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> no, I remember more. Does yes. that? Yes. Yes. Cool Runnings. Yes. <laughs> Yes, such a I uh, remember film. that. John Leguizamo. He's a what was it? The Pest. I hated that movie. I like The Pest. But you know what I think his best acting for me is when he was in... Moulin Rouge? No, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he was great. He was, he was great excellent. in that movie. He was amazing in that movie. Exactly. Even you ever seen his one man show? Yeah. Like he does the one man really shows. Yeah, well, good. he had the, 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 the blackboard in the back. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's, like, he's amazing with that stuff. We we did um we did the good wife. John Leguizamo was on the show. Some people might say, well, was he really? Mm -hmm. He was. They cut it. Why? Um so he's just one of those guys. He paid his dues. He's a really good actor. So he came in and he had notes and he did things that wasn't a part that needed to be what was written for. And I guess he was doing the office scene and uh, he felt like the character needed a tennis racket. And it was, they recasted him and got another person. Oh, they don't like an improv. Uh, but I, I felt like it would have been great. I felt like it would have been great. John Leguizamo. Is he a you know what I was watching earlier before we came here? You, you guys seen Aliens, right? If you haven't, you need to build them now because you fucking, you're fucking a cocksucker. you see seen Aliens, right? Everyone seen Aliens? Yes. Yeah, yeah I've seen yeah. Alien. <laughs> a alien, yeah, Alien. It's Alien. It's Alien. <laughs> aliens. Is that a sequel? Yes, uh, it, yes. <laughs> directed and written by fucking James Cameron. You, you, you asshole. No. Oh, All right, yeah. a little bit of trivia on that one. Just talking about Waterworld. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a good movie. I, I liked it. Uh, Who's the bad guy? He's always a bad guy. Uh, 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 fuck. Uh, 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 Hopper. Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper. Yeah. But yeah, sorry. Aliens. Aliens. But they shot that in London. Did you know they had tea time? Like that's the <sighs> part of you in the middle of a shot. And a lady will come in, he died, and the crew will stop everything and just walk off the set. That's amazing. And he's like, wait a minute, wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Like, no, you don't do anything to at the tea time. Very important. And he had to, he had to, and he had to deal with that. He went to the union. The union said it. Our workers do tea time. So how, long, to, how long? How long? Like, I, I forget. I think it was like an hour. An so hour? Like, I don't know how long tea time is in England. But I know it was. It's too long for Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you're not shooting, if there's not a camera set up, yeah. a lighting, a crew doesn't have the set, this is too. Really I would be so wrong. pissed no. if there's a tea time. So I'd be like, fuck it. Like, so that's another hour we're going to waste in our day. I, wanna, I just want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is cutting into yeah. my oh, personal yeah. life. Yeah. James, James Cameron is a G. Even with Terminator 2, I found you know, Whoa. Like, yeah, you see, the average yeah. afternoon tea lasts about an hour and a half. So I was wrong. Right. So yeah. like, see, is that lunch? Two? No, it, I don't know about the lunch situation. I just know with the tea time, lunch, three they hours. were serious about the tea time. It was like this is our break. This That's is like Cetrus's uh, coffee. 
Oh, you, 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 take, you, you take your coffee. The difference so is up to 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not half. Like, can you yeah, imagine an hour 15. and a half coffee? I, I would be, I would be like, 15, 15 minutes is fine for coffee. Like, if we're gonna call, fine. But an hour thing. and a half. If we're going to call tea time, I better see you drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the word tea time. No. You, you, I want to see a cup of tea, piping hot <laughs> cup of tea, <laughs> where it would take an hour for that cup of tea for you to right, sip it. Right. But I I'm not nice, right? Is it paid? Doing? It must be. It has to be because that's that's a big chunk. That's why we take half an hour for us mm -hmm. for our breaks or you know for coffee because we know we're not getting paid. You know for that time mm -hmm. we won't take an hour. Yeah, you know yeah. that's, 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 that's that'll be three hours we're losing. Yeah. Lunch time, coffee. You know, yeah. like, you know. You know who doesn't get breaks? Mm -hmm. Locations. <laughs> Just saying. You guys do get breaks. No, we don't. When, well, we, that, we when that location is set, what you do? Oh, uh, yeah. no, 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 no. Because you don't know. Because we can be outside dealing with an angry resident, mm -hmm. dealing actually, with the police officers mm -hmm. because we're getting ready to go do a fucking lockup soon, right? Dealing with the community board who's over there asking you for money, right? Dealing with the owner of the building because, you know, a grip probably put a, uh, a dolly in the middle of a hallway where it needs to be moved, but we can't touch it because we have to get the grip, but the grip is busy because the grip's on set, dealing with the other dollar. You better respect those grips. Or dealing with a PA oh, that respect, was probably sure, your, but... Oh, of course, no. Absolutely, it's just... respect. We know what the work is, but I'm just saying, this is, when everyone thinks, oh, the grip is just relaxing. No, there's a lot more things mm -hmm. that is going on. Send out emails, contracts, contracts. yeah. Emails, contracts, so tomorrow, this, so what's happening guess. tomorrow, holding catering. Who has There's probably not enough tables then? and chairs. Huh? Who has the easiest job then? The I don't think, no. I don't, I don't, I don't think. Some, no, I mean, no, no, I mean no. any other part you can think of. No. Uh, across no. the board. I think who has the easiest honestly, job? I think all of them are tenacious. Honestly, everybody has a difficult job. Who would you say? Who would you say? Opera. Nope. 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 I'll tell you why. Because they don't always do that. If it's a moving shot, those motherfuckers are wearing a mic. They're not having you walk around like this. Mm. With, with, with it well, I know who has the easiest job. Who? But it can get really difficult. The mixture has a harder job. No, it can, get, it can get really difficult like this. But it rarely happens. Set Camera. medic. Set medic. Oh, oh yeah. good call. Set good medic. Call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I've seen set medics watch seasons, uh -huh. seasons of TV shows on set. I was set. working on Fire Truck, and the guy was playing video games. Yes, yes, yes all the time. time. All all the time. time. I was like, but like, and I, I would catch myself standing there watch, watching the game. I'd be like, nah, he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so here's a homie, but it's like, dude, he was living life. Right, so maybe they do have the easiest. Yeah. And they're also the nicest too, because they're like super nice. Hey, hey, can I, can I, like, I don't mean to bother you. Like, yeah, you, you want to get high? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was a parking day. We tried to get me drunk. Was like, I'm gonna get it. Work out. Yeah, and listen, there's a lot of people that try to give you drugs. Mm -hmm. You can walk on the street and someone will give you drugs. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not gonna say the guy's name. Dude. I'm kidding. This is the part. Uh, I'm you, know, you know, I, I, I. Uh, what's our time code there? Now we're three. Hour three. So I know hour three, I need to go back and cook, make some cuts. Oh, great. <laughs> you mentioned me. Right? His name was... <laughs> you can't do dirty things around Will. He will mention it one day. Dry <laughs> snitcher. Remember that time? <laughs> dry yeah, snitcher. Dry snitcher. <laughs> you know what reminds me of? Like, that's... Uh, what was that? Remember when I told you to put your dick away? <laughs> it, was, it was with Kevin Hart. Which special was that? Where he was like... Man, I'm sure hungry. And then his boy, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Harry, Harry was saying, Man, you want those bitches with the fat ass. He's like, no, 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 that's Will. I he will come up a cold with Will, and we'll forget the fucking cold. Yeah, have you ever seen that one? <laughs> Show it to him, please. That's such a hilarious oh, one. Help me, help me. Did, didn't we, uh, did we, didn't we get cut off from, uh, because you showed, um, Oh man. Died comedian. Oh, Mitch Hepburn. No. Yeah, 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 I guess another dead yeah, comedian. Oh my god, I'm gonna be fucking tortured. Patrice O'Neill. 
I'm gonna be tortured, you know. This guy's I can't remember. A comedian who died? Comedian who died? Because he hung himself because he was masturbating. Legend. Oh. In all the movies, like, uh, why am I why am I brain farting so hard right now? Miss Doubtfire. Oh, it's Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Yeah. 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 Oh was my God. God. Was he wasn't was masturbating. No, you no, he no. Hung himself. You you are mistaking it because Robin Williams did a movie where his son was hanging yeah. himself and masturbating. Yeah, Robin Williams did kill himself, but your the masturbation part is that movie <laughs> that Robin Williams was the father and his son. That, that was, was my worst brain fart I've had in probably like two years. That, that was just bad. bad. I could that, that, that man, dude. Robin Williams. Is Maybe. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I'm saying, saying that. I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah, I love Robin Williams. Yeah, but you grew up with him. If we didn't know, this would have been aired with Robin Williams masturbating <laughs> in it and hanging <laughs> himself. What, what I'm saying is, if we show a clip and it, we got like, we got fucked over or something like that, we should, we should have clipped with Robin Williams. Williams. And they're like, yeah, because they had that audio on copyright. Yeah. Mm, so that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. Is it, do you think Kevin Hart thing is going to do the same thing? Probably so. Maybe. Who gives a shit? Here we go. Yes, <laughs> I do. Oh, Save up to thirty dollars on you know, whatever. <laughs> sure. Why is there music over it? Copyright. Copyright. Yeah. They were fish. This is bullshit. And your bullshit is my bullshit. If you're my real best friend, uh, you should uh, have uh, a at the same time. As... I'm looking at you, and I'm not blinking if I'm like this. Oh, there you go. That's a goddamn sign. That means the bitch got to jump on us. <laughs> My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Help me. My friend Harry. Ignored all signs, okay? Let's mm-hmm. have shit hit the fan. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. Shit hit the fan. Yeah. I come in the house, right? Come in the house like four in the morning. I'm drunk, people. Drunk as shit. I have no balance. I'm all over the place. I'm rocking back and forth. No, soon as I walk in the house, really she good, wakes man. up. She goes off. You know what? I'm sick of this. I know you're probably out with some bitch. You was probably messing with some bitch. Now I'm drunk. I don't want to respond because I don't have any balance. I'm rocking back and forth. You don't look believable when you're rocking back and forth. <laughs> I had to choose a stance in which I look believable. So I chose this. I said, let me tell you something. Listen to me. <laughs> Wasn't nobody with no bitch. Okay, you're wrong. Matter of fact, to prove you wrong, I'm going to call Harry. Harry not expecting me to call right now, so Harry don't have no reason to lie. And I'm going to put it on speakerphone. About to make you feel stupid. Watch this. Watch how fucking stupid you feel. Watch. Watch this. Harry. Harry. Real quick, don't lie. Let's stop right there. Let, let's just stop right there. Right <laughs> what, what does that mean? Get on this move. Get us on this move. Lie. It means lie right now. I mean, the bitch got to drop on us. My back is against the wall. It's not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Help me. Harry ignored all sides. I'm telling you exactly what Harry said. I said, Harry, Harry, real quick, don't lie. Where are we coming from right now? He said, you gotta watch this. Is this the same man, special the you was savings? with that bitch with the yeah. fat ass. Yeah. What? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 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 Understand something. I'm not. I'm not mad at Harry. The reason I'm not mad at Harry is because Harry has done some dumb shit, but I understand who he is. See, Harry might be the smartest, dumbest friend I've ever had in my life. Okay, let me tell you the dumbest thing that Harry's ever done. Harry invented a code for us to use to let each other know when we were around our women. Basically, if somebody used a code, it means don't say anything stupid. You might be on speakerphone. Don't say nothing dumb. The phone might be loud enough so my girl can hear whatever you're saying. It means don't say anything that could jeopardize our relationship. But the code was, my my dad always, he had this code where it's like, don't talk to me, I'm talking to a girl right now. Mm -hmm. Do that. Do that. 
or uh, get me out of here is like that. Um, I, I think with you, it gets to the point that when you have a little bit extra beers than when you should have, you're going to forget about the code. <laughs> <laughs> the code should be a word. Banana. Man, that's too obvious. Football. We had a... Uh, hey, you saw the game? Speaking of football, you guys better take care of Saquon. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Listen, I'm going to tell you something right now. We have to talk about this, Phil. You don't need to worry about Saquon anymore. <laughs> we'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> you just make sure you can stop him. <laughs> it's going to be you so bad. You guys are going to kill Williams, though. That's why. You guys are trying to, like, right, save your budget. Here's my issue with the trades of the Bears. Yeah, okay. Go for Caleb Williams. What, what running back? What receiver? No what, 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 what O-line? I, what, 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 I'm not defending the job. I think what they're doing You're going to bring this poor guy... I'm not saying poor guy. You're gonna bring this talented player and surround him with shit. Right. And right. all you know, the things they said about the field. Yeah. They said about the field. And the, the problem with the Giants at this least at least what I'm seeing, I know they're trying to build they're in that rebuild mode. But when you give a guy like Saquon, mm-hmm. honestly, if you was planning to get rid of him, I would not let him I would have gave him a lot of that allowance to go to another team. And now that's in the NFC. And the NFC East, yeah. too, alone. So I would trade like, him. I gotta face him twice a fucking year now. Yeah. I would trade him. And you know, you so know, you know he's coming with fire yes. now. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be like, he's yo, y'all ain't wanna fucking give me what I wanted. Here's what you're gonna get. You know another time. I know where you guys got. He's gonna get 100 yards. You, you, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. dude. Defense that they're really yeah. You know, you know the another team that I feel so bad for? The Chargers. Why? Harbaugh's coming in. Eckler's gone. Oh, yeah. Echo is on the commanders, commanders. Right? But, but he's, he's also, like, kind of gearing towards his... Wallace is gone. Really? Like, they only have Herbert. Yeah. Good old little Herbie. That's no, all they have. No, no, Herbie. What was the receiver's name? I think he was... Aqua. Aqua. No, no, he's that's Rams. That's, that's, that's Rams. Rams. He's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First year, a couple thousand yards, so that's something good. That's, that's what we keep talking I keep getting him in the Is he Mexican? No, he's Hawaiian. Hawaiian? Hawaiian? Or Polynesian. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, yeah, he's, he's fucking talented. talented. Yeah, he's very good. Um, I, I wish I picked him up in, in, in fantasy. No one knew? No one no, knew. I mean, he didn't play school. No, like, like, no, like no. Because you know who I picked? I picked the other guy. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, Atua? Atua? Whatever his name yeah. was. I was like, I can't even. Like, the other guy's name, I was like, no, nah, I'll just go with the black guy. Who I got you, Which is fair. You're going to catch the ball. I know. Some, Some Polynesian, Polynesian dude? Hell no. <laughs> I thought he was like, man, I, I, hold on, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's what see. Was that right to see what I know, I, 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 I yeah, know. He like, he's the number one guy, essentially. You know. And I saw him talking about that. They, 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 they he doesn't want to renegotiate his contract. He doesn't want to renegotiate. <laughs> Who? <laughs> The wide receiver off of the um, Chargers. Keenan Allen went Chargers. to the Bears. Keenan Allen, yeah. Keenan Allen went to the Bears. He left? He left. Yes. So they, they had nothing. nothing. They got nobody except good old Herbie by himself. I don't know what this dude, is. That dude gets what beat off, but he's so fucking powerful. Yeah. Yo, Remember when he, he broke his ribs and he's so fucking... He's too talented to be on that team. Yeah. Like, he, like, what? But they're getting hard balls, so maybe they'll do something. Maybe. But what, like, well, someone like, uh, who has all the weapons now, let's say? Like, um. Eagles? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you do, you guys are such a powerhouse. Oh, this, these guys, Miami. I go to Miami. Mm-hmm. Has, he had Herbert back. He's already, yeah. he, he was getting 4,000 yards passing average until last year. He went down like 5,000. You know what I think it is? Yeah. You know what I think is yeah. happening? <laughs> L.A. has two teams, the Rams and the Chargers. Yeah. I think this is just to push the Chargers mm-hmm. off. Put them to another. Oh, <laughs> give them to another state. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Give what's, a, what's, what's another state that needs a football team? Oklahoma. No, New Jersey. No, well, I don't mean, Ohio. Ohio. Well, we got Bengals. Cincinnati. Bengals. I would say, yeah. That's the only one they have. Only one. They just take another one if they want it. Send them to Ohio. It's a big state. state. No, send them to Oklahoma. You got these... Big college teams like Oklahoma what? doesn't have anything. Right? No, but I, 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 I mean, do you, do you, do you count the Chiefs? 
Like, is that, like, within Oklahoma the area? City, yeah, like, it's yeah. like the Patriots there, like, yeah, the yeah, North, yeah. right, right. Like, you know, I mean, you go to Oklahoma, you're going to definitely go to Kansas City because you got nothing else to go for. Right. I mean, look at the Rams. Aaron Donald retired. Oh, shit. Aaron Donald wow. retired. Wait, Wait also, also, uh, uh yeah, that's right, 32 years old. Wow. Uh, is Kansas City, is Arrowhead in Oklahoma or Kansas? Is, 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 Arrowhead, is Arrowhead in Kansas or is it in Oklahoma? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Missouri. Missouri. Cause it's Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, yes. Kansas. Arrowhead's got to be in Kansas. You're right. That's a good point. I think I want to say it's. You want to zoom up? See where Holy is. shit! How did I not? Puka Nakua is Samoan, Hawaiian, Portuguese. It's in Kansas City. It's in, but which one? Who gives a um, shit? Missouri. Puka Nakua. Is it Missouri? Yeah. Missouri. Puka Nakua is <laughs> Samoan, Whoa. Hawaiian, and Portuguese. Did you know that? What? Arrowheads in Missouri. Yeah, I did. Not Kansas. Kansas, Kansas, City, Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's kind of fun. I feel dumber and dumber every day. <laughs> wow. Um, no, no, but so with the Chargers, though, if they were going to push him out, I don't think they're going to push him out anywhere further inland. I think they're going to keep him in the West Coast. So, well, uh, well, well, the, okay, mm-hmm. so you got California. Right? Yeah, Seattle well, already has Washington. Right? You have Las Vegas. Oregon. Has, Oregon. Oregon? Mm-hmm. Because you already, and then also Oregon's a huge football town anyway. I mean, so no. technically with, with Kansas, you could have like Nebraska move for what they wanted, Missouri, of course, Oklahoma, or Arkansas. Yeah. Any of those states could just be like, I'm going to try to do a shoot for I feel like New Jersey needs a team. Yeah. New mm-hmm. Jersey doesn't have a team, but they use the Giants or they take Philly. Or Jets. Or Jets. Or Jets. But then, but, but there's no, I, I can't see, I mean, it's happened in the past for sure, but I like, I just don't think they're going to, right? It's so, it's so wild that they don't do that to me. I don't know, but it's benign. But anyway, if they're going to do, if they're going to change the stadium, if they're going to change the whole Chargers aspect, they already have somewhat of a fan base, like that Asian lady. Uh, why would they, they're the Asian lady. Oh, yeah. But she got, I'm wondering how that went down. She was a transplant. Because they, yes. Because they made it seem like, oh, she got the job after they saw her. No, I think that she already had the job and they said they focused in on her. Mm-hmm. It just made sense that now they come out and say, oh, yeah, she, she was, was very cool. animated. And, they're like, yeah. and, then, and then they saw her at a Buffalo game. So, like, oh, my daughter's a big Buffalo fan. Like, how she has so many fucking fans. What? Yeah. Yeah. She's a, yeah. And then how And then how do you have so many, uh, how are you a big fan of all these different teams but still be so, like, Distress during the Chargers game. You mean, uh, anyway, is, but why would I don't I don't know if the Chargers would leave the the West Coast. That's all I have to say. I think it would be they couldn't go they couldn't go to Ohio. That's too far. I think they would agree with them with the San Diego Chargers. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a great. I mean, the awesome city. San Diego is gorgeous. They should have stayed San Diego Chargers. Yeah. It's not like they're moving from another state. No. The SoFi Stadium is gorgeous. I really want to go. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to go. It's so cool. It's traffic sucks in and out of that place, but it's. You know what? Take the Chargers, send them to Puerto Rico. (laughs) Hey, Puerto Rican Chargers. Send the Puerto Rican Chargers. (laughs) No, I will watch the game. (laughs) Especially with the. They'll just have a, have a, 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 a white star. (laughs) <laughs> go against the Cowboys, a star with like a, a lightning bolt, right? <laughs> you know? Or like East Point has like electricity going out. I mean, it's like when you when you look. Okay, here we go. We'll just do this, right? When you look at the fucking U.S. You got Seattle. You know, Oregon doesn't have anything. What are you saying? I mean, you put okay, in what what <laughs> state doesn't have a team at all? <laughs> so many. South Dakota. Iowa, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, but you got but you got to look at these areas too. Like these areas here, besides the colleges, North Carolina is the population. Virginia, Virginia technically doesn't have a team. Virginia needs a team. I know. Yeah, we do everything in Maryland and FedEx. The Newport Chargers. <laughs> Newport News Chargers. <laughs> Newport News Chargers. <laughs> Newport News would love that, right? Dude, Breaking need... news! He says you, you have so many great football players coming out of the Hampton Roads area in Virginia. 
Oh, you got Phoenix too. Phoenix. You know, I think Memphis needs a team. Great music. Or Nashville. Wait, but yeah, it's highly Nashville, popular. Nashville has Tennessee Titans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What about Kentucky? Kentucky has nothing. Right? Big, Big basketball. basketball. The Colonels. The Colonels. <laughs> the Chargers <laughs> rename as the Fried Colonels. Fried chicken on a helmet. Mm-hmm. North Dakota, South, South Dakota. Dakota. Yeah, but there's no one living there. Yeah, that's true. Um, Who's living there? You know anybody that came from North, South Dakota? I, I do. do. I just met someone who is awful human being. I cannot stand him. 21 year old transplant from North Carolina, and he was like, uh, Oh, there's a tra- trans. <laughs> no, he, <laughs> no, he, no, he, no, he goes, He goes, Where do you live? Like, oh, I live in Bushwick. He's like, Oh, that's where all like the uh, post uh, college people go, right? I'm like, I'm 29 years old. I've been living here for like six years. Where do you live? He's like, Over oh, east side. I'm like, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Dad, dad's. Daddy, mommy's paying oh, for yeah. rent. Oh yeah, Upper East Side, twenty-one years old. I wish I had parents that would pay my uh, rent. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, you're not white, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it was a quiet moment where we all were like, "Yeah, we don't have parents <laughs> for anything." <laughs> <coughs> oh. What do you do? No, I, uh, I'm actually a little concerned after this strike does happen. My, my funds are well. Bad. You don't have to get a new job. It's no one to survive. You can't even go to, um, I was saving them. I watched the stocks for fucking Tesla and all those shit. Oh. I was saving them. For my IRA. I'm hurt. I'm so happy Bitcoin went up. It went up. Yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin. How do you forget Bitcoin? Well, I'm not. I I don't have a whole coin, but I have money in Bitcoin. Okay. Um, it went up. Yeah, oh, Bitcoin went up. When? Seventy-one thousand the highest has ever hit. When? Ever. When? A couple days ago. Really? Yep. Do- Dogecoin went up. Erythium went up. Wow. Um, what's going on? Something is going on, but it's like it's going up, and all the money that I've Put into these things, which I lost. Yeah, and I was like, um, and the strike happened. I was like, I'm gonna go pull my money out because I'm not. I'm mm-hmm. happy I put my money, kept my money in there because it went up. I'm not touching it. Yeah, because it's like you know, it goes up and up and up, but it's like something's happening with currency. But is it because of uh? I don't know. Is it because of like AI hey, shit? I don't know. You should do a heist. A Bitcoin heist? No, a Bitcoin heist. Uh, you know what? While, while on camera. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, that's, that's the same oh. shit I was going to say. Dude, it's a, but you got to see it on camera. So that's the misdirection. Did you, did oh, watch, did, misdirection. Did you guys ever watch Billions? No, no, there, no, there's no one, one cares about billions. I know. I know. Do you think that the people in this room would sit and watch an episode of Billions? No, I watched it because I was on a flight. And it was like, I was like, ah. You awesome. watched Billions on a Flight? Yeah, it was like a, it was a six hour flight to Seattle. Oh, so, so I watched an episode and I was like, okay, I'll try it. But it was like the first episode of like the last season. So I don't know any of the characters, I don't know what's going on. But the first episode started with like, it was a, a Bitcoin heist. They had like the the, the miners, I guess. Yeah, there was the servers and buckets. I thought that's kind of cool. It'd be a good movie. Like, not a bank heist, but like a Bitcoin heist. So one that would be the best one? Would be the guy who can't open his fucking his uh what was that shit his name is uh hard his hard hard drive. He could open his hard drive. He had I don't know how many coins, but he had a lot of Bitcoin that worth millions of dollars on his hard drive. I yeah, he's like yeah, yeah. And he only has one try left. Right, right. <laughs> or the idiot that uh went to the uh the pizza delivery guy and the somebody and says uh I'll give you a uh, I don't know how many uh, bitcoins for uh, a pie of pizza. And then when he looks at it, at, to this day, they're like, "Well, how much more? How much bit? Like, the amount of bitcoins that you gave for this pie of pizza? How much is that pizza worth today?" And he's like, ten thousand dollars." Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah, you 
Idiot. Yeah, buddy, 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 ah, you just never know at that time. Yeah, but buddy, buddy went in high school. school. If I come to you and be like, hey, dick coin. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'll give you 20 dick coins. Give me a yeah. <laughs> yeah. fine pizza. And all of a sudden now. But buddy, buddy mine in 2013 and we were in high school, he was talking about like Bitcoin and he, was, he sounded crazy. Because he also kind of had a, he was always ahead of the curve, but he also was very like, he's like that mad scientist in every movie where he gets like, he's like smoking a cigarette and drinking coffee and that. But like, we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, oh yeah, it's just like digital currency. It's going to be the new thing. And then sure enough, you know, like, I guess five years after there, six years after that, it just fucking blew up. And uh, he put, I, I forget, I, I think he clocked out with like $150,000. Because he saw it was going down. He pulled his money out. I think what about you told me, there used to be a dollar on the dark web back in the day when Bitcoin first came up. You get a Bitcoin for a dollar. Yeah. If you would have paid attention and you had the foresight, people would have bought it. Yeah. The smart ones. Yeah. I wasn't smart. You or no, no, no. I would have bought it. Let's take it back. Well, it's just, it's just so, it's just so like, like, it's just so insane when someone tells you about it. It's like, on paper, that makes no sense. Why would I do this? I still don't understand it, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. it makes money. Should we do quote of the day? I'm looking for one. <laughs> I'm I looking for one. You know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you no, no. You you only only have you watched the episodes? The, the past quotes. He only does drive cast quotes. My and when, when he does drive cast quotes, it's also where it's like he'll say the name of the person who says the quote. Oh, uh, so Adam Sandler said, <laughs> and it's like motherfucker. The the quote, quote, no, no, the, no, the no, quote no. Had Adam, it, Yeah, quote yeah. Was, my name is Adam, Adam Sandler. Can't prove it's better than Kanishi. Who said that? Kanishi <laughs> oh, better. God, better. So you know what? I was thinking we're gonna change it up. What episode is this? Fifteen? Uh, probably. Episode fifteen. From there on out. We always did quotes. We're going to still do quotes, but now we're going to do movie quotes. I like that. So, you tell me the movie, or you tell me the actor. If you said it. Extra, extra points, points if you get the, the actor. actor. I don't even know. Should we tally these points? Yeah. 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 What do you, what do we win? Um, all the humble money. Can I do a quote? Huddle money. I'll do this time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you gotta look it up. Oh, yeah! Guess the movie, what actor said it? Okay. Yeah. Did, did you say actress? Oh, yeah. Take it out of my ass, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out of my ass, don't. 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 Take it out all of them. That's who said it. Ninety-nine point nine nine. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Glitter. Glitter. Huh? Is, Is it glitter, glitter embedded in your table? I have yeah. kids. No, no but it's, it's like, like it's like in, in the wood. I have kids. <laughs> You find glitter wherever you, you don't. Find glitter. You, you, don't even, Lego. you don't even know where glitter comes from. Like you just find it. It's just really weird. Yo, it's like when you're looking at movie quotes, it's like it's like don't know. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know that one already. Uh, the one he should know. I have a good quote. I got a good quote. Wait, no. What? Who said it? Don't tell me. Say hello to my little friend. Al Pacino. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the one you should know is stay away from her, you bitch. <laughs> but you don't know that because you didn't watch the fucking movie. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> no, he watched Alien. Alien. It was just a good movie. Um, James Cameron should have done that song. I didn't realize James, James Cameron did that. Yeah. Well, he also, didn't he do uh, Prometheus? No. No, that wasn't him. Prometheus is a good movie, too. I like that one. Prometheus? Yeah, that's alright. Just explain the origins of the Xenomorph. Exactly. 
Um, I feel like it was true. I don't know if it was a prequel or like a sequel. Whatever they did, they went to some planet where it was like the god. And then it turns out that like the god has like 99% DNA relations with you and I. So basically, this person on this planet created everything, which is kind of cool. This is uh, what about uh, what about you got enough dynamite there, Butch? Which Cassidy is That's what I fucking mean with you. You say the name. It's a good line. It's a good line. Oh, I can't swim. I can't swim, Butch. Where did that from? Butch is the Butch. Butch That's a great scene. I can't swim, Butch. Where did that from? Come on, tell me, tell me. Okay. I got Black Sheriff? I got one. I got a quote. <laughs> what am I moving at? <laughs> well, I love that one. Great fucking thing. I got one, but I got to find this. This is my like, shooting hand. Or this is my good hand. I would want to quote J. Go Chamber like what's his name um I, 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 I not Calvin Candy, candy parts. parts. You can't yeah, yeah, yeah. Calvin Candy parts. Just remember that. I'm like, yo, I understand Christoph Waltz and gave it, he was great. Mm-hmm. They robbed Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah he, he said, yeah. Shit. No, no, no. He was great. What would have happened? happened? He was Leonardo oh, DiCaprio. That's the point. I love He him did that. such a great job with awesome. that movie. But the problem is, if he would have won an award for that, you would have had a mixed reaction of people saying, oh, he had to play or be a racist person to win this award, mm-hmm. and that would have been the whole thing. I mean, but they said the same thing with, with Denzel when he won for training. Yeah. Because they gave him the first one came from Glory, and then they gave the second Oh, no? No, no, no. The one where he was the big of the Ah, Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah, in the Hudson, the yeah, Hudson yeah, one, he ran the, yeah, yeah. And it was when they said a big deal because that was just, it just removed from 9 11. Right. So it was like, we finally got to feel this story. Oh, right, 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 right. 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 Crash. You can't make a movie on that. I watched the they other did. day, I still got to finish it, it National cool. Geographic called Uncovering the Secrets of New York. So basically, under the World Trade Towers, right, when, you know, 9-11 happened, they were taking the debris out, mm-hmm. and as they're digging, to put now, to f- digging that out, and then mm-hmm. they're going to put the Freedom Tower, they found remains of a ship. What? Yeah. Yeah, 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 from like 1800s. Yeah, from the 1800s. Yeah. It was a ship. A wooden ship. A, a wooden ship. They built it. Um, they d- kind of figured out what it was. But you know what a funny thing that they did, too, back then? called the dark era they would have these ships out at the southern point of the the city right and they were like prison ships slash death ships so they would capture british soldier, 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 soldiers 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 captain soldiers pass away their soldiers they were all from soldiers and soldiers on your ship <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get them later. Let's see, sorry. You got me shows, you got it, Mr. White. Put him on a ship. There's the, and, and they lock you in the bottom of the ship. And it'll be a ship with like 10, 11,000 guys stuck on there, sick. And you would just die on that ship. <laughs> Defecating on yourself. Yeah. Everything. Vomiting, fucking. Smelling all this shit, but um, no, no, no. that's how I want to go. Yeah, 
I don't know what year there was this ghost story. I think it was out of Scotland. But there's, Scotland. There's this uh this this baron this baron he had he was kind of in love with this woman that of course she didn't love him back. So she was in love with some other guy. I think he had the other guy killed and then he locked her in the tower and let her basically starve to death. She died in it. And they say now whenever any travelers come to stay at this castle that's not sure it's like an inn, that they resemble the one that she fell in love with, she lays in the bed with them. Like there was some nice guys will wake up and they're, they're shivering. Like they you be fucking middle of the summer, they fucking cold. Oh yeah. Some guy you pour someone Crushing legs and yeah. Really? I, I, I would have said. I hope I remember that. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> will your dick out? This is what's playing. I'm just oh, sure. I'm, I'm gonna just real. show you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, bad. Here we go. Here's the quote. We're gonna end this right now. Sure, the sure. quote goes like this, and if you can, either or, you can tell me the movie or the actor that probably said this. Quote is: When you pray for rain, you gotta deal with the mud too. I've heard that one though. I just heard that one. Blade Runner. When you pray for rain, you gotta deal with the mud too. Shoot. Uh, Stand for no. Eat shit. <laughs> shit. Shit was lit. No. Uh, no. 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 Sling fling. Oh, Billy Bob. The, when you're pranking. Fuck on rain. Oh, uh, I'm going to bring the game back together. Equalizer. Uh, I don't know. I never watched it. Denzel Washington. Oh, here's one great. I, I heard the third one's really good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's the one I, I think John Wick and part of Equalizer. I've seen the ratings on They say it's just. John Wick's a good movie. John Wick's a good movie. John Wick's a good movie. John Wick's a good Equalizer. It's really good. Uh, that is. <laughs> That's where we end it. Bye, first. Can you. Porn. Porn. Turn. They, they went by. Show ya.